Never doubt the meaning of Lent. It happened a long time ago, but it happened. Jesus walked on this earth. Jesus practiced a ministry of radical inclusivity, drawing to himself all those who were radically different in society. Jesus lived what he taught, a life of justice and love, profound compassion for all people. Jesus lived a life acceptable to you, O God. As followers of Jesus, we are a dwelling place for all, for, for the, all the source of life. And so we invite you to take this time as a pause during your Lenten journey to grow deeper to the holy. Every time you listen with great attentiveness to that voice that calls you beloved, you will discover within yourself a desire to hear that voice longer and more deeply. Of Psalm 22 verses 23 to 31. Give praise all you who fear God. Proclaim God's greatness all you children of Jacob. Stand in awe all you children. For God has neither despised nor scorned the poor in their distress. You, O oh God, have not hidden your face from anyone. You heard them when they called to you. You are the theme of my praise with great assembly. I will keep my promises in the presence of those who fear you. Let the poor eat to satisfaction. Let those who seek you praise you. May they be in good heart forever. Let all the ends of the earth remember and turn to you, O God. Let all the families bow down before you. For yours is the dominion, O God, you rule over all. Even all who sleep in the grave shall worship you. Those who go down into the dust shall bow before you. I too shall live for you. Our children shall serve you and tell generations yet to come about you. 
to the people yet unborn, they shall make known the saving deeds you have done. reading from the Gospel of Mark, in the 8th chapter, verses 31 to 38. Then Jesus began to teach them that he must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and then three days, three days rise again. Jesus said this quite openly, and Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. And, but turning and looking at the disciples, Jesus rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called to the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any of you wish to come after me, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who want to lose their life for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel, will save it. For what will it profit for them to gain their whole world, but to forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give, get in return for their life? Those who were ashamed of me and my words in this ad adulterous and sinful generation are not of them. With those, with also be ashamed when Jesus comes in his glory to God again with the holy angels. Amen. Let us pray. Solitude and reflection are essential for my inward journey, but we also need others to walk with us through the very fearsome and tunnels of darkness. In this season of inner life, God's presence can soften the anguish and isolation. 
but God will not take it away from me, for it is necessary for growth. My fears and anxieties can quietly and or noisily tend to take over my decisions and choices. If there is no awareness of them, sapping of my energy for life-giving expectations. If we stay in this place long enough, our eyes may become accustomed to the darkness, and we begin to see the beauty and the freedom we never knew was there. Holy One, today we recall the truths that emerged after difficult times. Journey with us in this time. Amen. Go with peace, and on your journey, may you have the boldness to come to Jesus just as you are. May the grace of Jesus, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and evermore.